Buenos dias, Bueno Park. Here we are, mid-April 2016 for the annual All-City Track and Field Meet. The one day out of the year where elementaries from all over the city get together to really test their might. We have an alarming representation from Dysinger Elementary in the orange and another contrary one in the blue. Let's go find out who they are and many more teams, so stick around. This third annual track and field meet saw close to 400 elementary school students, ages 5 through 13 years old. That's kids born between the years 2000 and 2009, coming out to run against each other and have fun. The aim of this event, supported by Buena Park Community Services Department, is to introduce children to track and field events as a healthy and friendly competition. It also allows them the opportunity to learn about this sport while they're still in elementary school. Who knows, maybe it'll spark their interest in a track running career when they come to high school. Activities were age dependent and ranged from 50 meter to 200 meter dashes, to long runs such as the 400 meter to one mile run categories. Other events included the softball throw and the long jump. We are gonna beat everyone! It was a fun time for everyone. Let's check out some of the action at this year's All-City Track and Field Meet at Buena Park High School. Okay, it seems like we have quite a rowdy crowd here at the All-City Track and Field Meet for Buena Park. Now, here I am with a few teachers. Can we please have your names? Michelle Cami, Linda Harris, Amanda Ocampo. Wow, all right, they're very formal today, but we're definitely very excited. I just want to know one thing. Is there a rivalry going on? Because I see the orange shirts, I see the blue shirts. What's going on? Oh, there's always a rivalry. But it's okay, because we're going to win, right? Yeah! <laughs> Okay, here I am with Rose from Buena Park, who has a daughter, Selena, who's competing in today's event. Rose, tell us, what is Selena competing with today? Selena's doing the softball throw. She plays uh, travel ball uh, with the Batbusters in Orange County, and uh, I think she'll do good. Whoa, do good? That, she, I heard, I heard, you know, it got pretty competitive earlier today. I mean, what is Selena doing to really train at the softball game? Well, you know what, uh, they trained all week at school, but she actually, for her uh, softball team, she, she trains four hours a day on Saturdays and Sundays, so she, she better do well. Now, what's the secret? Is she eating all of her vegetables? She hates vegetables. All right, this just in. All the kids born in 2009 are getting ready to run the 100-meter dash. Let's get to it. Boy, it seems like we had a false start. Let's see what's going on now. with proud dad, Lawrence Cruz. <laughs> with number one place winner, Jaden. Tell us, Jaden, what did you win today? I won a ribbon. First place me. ribbon. You got it for me. You got it for me. <laughs> First place winner, the 50 meter dash, Jaden. Now, Jaden, is this the second time you win? Yes. Two years in a row. Back to back, two years in a row. Now, let me see that, get that dirt off your shoulders real quick. There you go. All right, this is definitely as close as we're ever gonna get to the runners. Here we are with Sydney from what school? Buena Terra. Buena Terra representing one more time. Now, Sydney, tell me, how old are you and what are you about to win? I'm eight. Uh, and you're doing the 50 meter dash, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's great. You guys are moving forward. You gotta go, go, Sydney, go, win, 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 win.
boy, here we are with Sydney and right after the race and we were just talking about her winning and guess what? She won! Do you like winning, Sydney? Yes. How does it feel right now? Good. Yeah? Are you even out of breath? Kinda. Dr. Swift, this is an amazing revival of the All-City Track and Field meet in Buena Park. Yeah, isn't it fabulous and to see all these kids participating, all their parents. This is a wonderful turnout. And I have to brag just a little bit, my grandson Logan, uh, year 2010, just took first place for the 200, 200 meter run. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's great. Yeah, 400 kids are participating and Logan, congratulations. <laughs> Tell me, Logan, what did you just do? Well, I ran as fast as I could to get on first place just so I could make my mom and my dad and everybody I know happy. And are you happy? All right, that's what counts, right? What does it mean to have this education in co coinciding with the uh, athletics here? This is just exactly what should happen because athletics make you feel good about learning things. So they really go hand in hand. I saw a lot of kids today. They're very excited, Dr. Swift. I guess all we have is a big thank you to Buena Park for bringing this back. That's right. Thanks, Buena Park. <laughs> there you go. Here we are with Michelle. The long jump is currently happening. Michelle, tell us about today's great event. We are having a great event with a lot of kids from our community and from our local schools. Um, this year we're really excited to have almost 400 kids registered in our meet. So right now they're doing a variety of things from softball throwing, long jumping, and running on the track all at the same time. Wow, and how many kids were involved last year? Last year we had 250. So we've really grown this program, haven't we? Yeah, it's looking like the kids in Buena Park really like track and field. That's no doubt about it. Are you guys doing anything different? We are doing a little bit different this year. We're actually running all our events simultaneously. Typically we do them uh, individually, uh, but this year we found it's more effective and it looks more fun. It's more fun to the parents to have everything going on. I know a lot of parents and kids are having a lot of fun. Thank you, Michelle, we really appreciate it. So tell me, are we having a good time today or what? Here I am with Johnny of Danbrook Elementary, which is a school located in Centralia School District right here in Buena Park. Now, it seems like I hear a little bit of a fan base over there. Johnny, you told me earlier today that you competed before. Is that true? Yes. Now, what events did you do before? I've done the 100 meter dash and, uh, and 200 meter dash. And what are you doing this time? I'm doing a 100 meter dash, 200 meter dash, and a long jump. Are you, now that you're a veteran, are you planning on really hitting it hard this year? Yes. Johnny from Dranbrook, getting ready to fly. Oh, a stellar jump from Johnny from Dranbrook. Here we are with Johnny right after finishing his first long jump ever, digging 12 feet. Good job, Johnny. When did you grow wings? Uh, maybe when I was like 12. He grew wings when he was 12. Thanks a lot, Johnny. Good job again. Here we are with Dysoner Elementary School representing. They're getting ready for the softball throw. Tell me, who's the best thrower right here out of you three? Aaliyah. Oh, look, they're so modest. Tell me. All right, what's your name? Aaliyah. Aaliyah, how long have you been throwing these softballs? Uh, uh, four or five years. Four or five years? What grade are you in? Um, six. <laughs> She's been throwing balls for a long time. Good luck. Good luck, Aaliyah. High five to you. All right, I just got one question. Who's taking all the trophies today? All right, all right, all right, all right. Simmer down, simmer down. I heard a lot of Whitaker, a little bit of Buena Terra, some St. Pius, 
And I heard this young man over here saying he's homeschooled and he's taking all the trophies. Is that true? Yeah. What's your name? Samuel. Now, Samuel, you told me earlier today you got second place in what event? Long jump. Second place long bones. Samuel, that's very cool. You want to look at the camera over there, though, so we can see your face? This kid's homeschooled. He's taking all trophies, he says. Good job, Samuel. High five. All right, here we are at the finish line with Alex with Buena Park Parks and Recreation. How are these kids doing? They're doing really good. They're all really fast and working really hard. She's working really hard too. Now we're going to look up right behind us to see these kids run. Go! Marcus, you're a little out of breath. How'd you do today? I did pretty good. I think it's a tie from where I got, but I get what I get. Look at that. What a good sport, but are you having fun though, right? Yes. There we go. There we go. That's the spirit, Marcus. Here we are with Carlos from the Buena Park Parks and Recreation. He's catching some Z's. <laughs> Sydney again by a hair. All right, we just spoke with Sydney earlier today who won the 50 meter and now she won again the 100 meter. Sydney, this is a trend for you. How happy are you right now? Very happy. You're very happy, you're a little bit out of breath. Are you having a lot of fun? Yeah. Oh man, that's great. Sydney, I think you're a career track runner from now on. You're gonna keep running? I want to. Keep running, Sydney, keep running. Have fun and high five. Boom! All right, ladies and gentlemen, this track and field meet is still going on, but I'm out of here. So if you missed it this time, make sure you don't miss it next year. And kids, ask your parents to participate because this program is really growing. You can find out more information on your city website, BuenaPark.com, or your official city mobile application, Buena Park Today 611. That's it for me. I'm Carlos Franco. See you next time inside Buena Park. <laughs>